Hey, and welcome to what I hope will be a full let's play. This is Polanie, which is a historical real-time strategy, which was developed by MDF and published by user for those on Windows in 1996. This is a Polish RTS game, and I do believe it's one of the first one, if not the actual first. Um, I played it as a kid long, long time ago, where RTS were still not not my thing. I couldn't really work it out, or maybe I had only a demo version of it. I can't really remember since that's over 20 years ago. But basically, this game offers 25 missions, which are based around the plot of fictional Poland tribe leader Mirek, who returns from an expedition to his hometown only to find it in ruins. Uh, throughout the game, Mirek will try to rebuild his country, defeat enemies, and conquer new lands. The game, the game has fantasy elements including magic, magic and spell-wielding units. Uh, the game economy is based around, and here I will cut. This is an entry from, from the Wikipedia. I will list it, of course, in, in the uh, video description. But, uh, as said, this is an RTS game, it is uh, fully in Polish, I do believe it is only translated into two other languages, which is uh, into Czech and uh, into German, so no English versions for you. Uh, for you as well, for me, it might be a real, tri real trial to go for this game, but I want to try out several of classic games that I remember um, as, uh, as a kid. Um, yeah, and... We are in, in the main menu, game name of course, new game, load game, and end game. Well, finish, quit, whatever. And we start with a new game. We have uh, Mirex Return, Friends, uh, Abduction, M Mages War, uh, Eastern something, and South and uh, South, South and Fire or South and Fires in, in, in the South. Uh, what's what's Pajog again? There are a couple wars that I don't really remember that well uh, um, uh, into translating. Conflagration. Yeah, conflagration. That's that's that's, that's the Bojog award. Mm. Yeah, and we'll be starting with the first campaign. And I think that I might just finish the, the first one and see how well it goes and then decide if I want to go through the whole thing or just it will be enough to, to showcase it. Oh! Is this? This looks like a difficulty level selection. Uh, let me see. Div. Um, the game doesn't show any uh, difficulty. Also, um, this game has a sequel of it, Polani 2, which is named uh, Night Shift, and the, the Night Shift is available on on GOG. And once you purchase uh, Night Shift and the extras, you can get this game as as a free add-on. There was a, there were plans to make a third game out of it, uh, which was supposed to be also a, um, a, a, a I think an RTS, but that was cancelled, and instead it turned into a, an unrelated action RPG, which you should already know, which is two worlds. We had two worlds one and two worlds two. But I have uh, not recorded two worlds yet, only played a little bit of the, the first one. So, uh, enough of t talking, let's go into the, the first campaign. This is the challenging part, the, uh, the mission uh, introduction. Uh, for, for the first one, I have it already prepared. I went through it to, and noted down what it says, so it would be a lot easier for me uh, to translate it. Mirko, the, the son of Poland Prince, returns from his victorious campaign, longing to see his village. What he found was his town burned down and reduced to ash and rubble. 
done with swords of neighboring tribes, robbed and burned villages, all townsfolk slain, blinded with desire for revenge. Mirko swears to avenge his people. He rebuilds the settlement, gather, gathers warriors and plans a bloody trial. Let the sword not tremble in your hand, when righteous anger kindles your heart. The gods want vengeance. Enemy is still in town, looting houses and desecrating bodies of killed villagers. Where does such people born? Capable of such deeds. You'll find the hornet's nest and burn it down. After the fight is over, build up to seven houses. So that is our objective. And here we are, the RTS from 1996. This is Mirko. Yeah, the game speed is not nothing that awesome. I am currently running at 20,000 cycles. We've got oh, we've got the mini map. We can already see a town. There's a guys destroying the buildings, which I think we need to protect. Uh, we've got options. We've got speech, sound, music, uh, scrolling speed. Uh, game speed the music we can change very nice plus yeah the, the the music slider is not working I will be I think I may switch speed up a little let's see yeah let's let's reduce that for the time being I might increase it later and then we've got of course menu save game load game uh, retry mission return to the game and end game so return to the game I'm going to the um, to the to the object not the objective was still target not target rip their guts he is Mirko is as is the bo uh, boss of um, uh, of the tribe as as previously mentioned and he is the most powerful warrior yeah he can slay uh, slay all of them and we've got two unit types we've got guys with, with the axes which can fix which can build which can do all, all most of the labor we've got where's the other guys archers what I like about this game when you select more than one unit they are speaking as a group and it's pretty much the same uh, what they are saying but if you select a single one they ask what what's up uh-huh what I'm going I'll go I'm going and those guys, what do you say? Talk. Yes? Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Talk. What? Talk. And I have three different texts. Talk. Right now. Dobra. Okay. Yeah. I'm going. Co rozkażesz? What you will command. As you wish. Idę. I'm going. Do celu. What's, what's the cell? Not to the goal. That doesn't. That doesn't sound right. Um, to to the destination, or more of it. Do you have any other text? In your command. What's your What's your orders? Listening. Okay. So this is our village. We've got three different huts, as you probably already noticed. This one. We're gonna produce. Um. There are a couple things here. Those are the things that I can do with the currently selected unit. Yeah, all of them have the, that. Um, and here we can produce a cow. This is our resource. The resource in this game that you're using to purchase anything, to build anything, is milk. And for that, you're purchasing a cow, well, creating a cow from that milk, to walk around, fill its meter, once it's full, it will go back to uh, to the... Do we even have names? We don't have names here. It will go back and... Uh, so what's here? Leave, leave the, 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 the... They will suck the milk out of them. And they are... If, if 
food, food, no. They are collecting um, grass, and with grass they can, they can of course, when they eat grass, the, the meter goes up, and the grass does regrow over time. Those are, we've got two of those, and they have three. Of course, uh, the building has a health meter, it has uh, some dots around here, no dots here, several dots here. So basically those dots are the limitation of the building on how many uh, units it can produce. Once the unit dies, uh, I think that the dot, the pixel, the, the square uh, is returned to you so we can produce more. <sighs> so the high action gameplay that we are now currently observing is... Oh! Oh! Okay, this is... This is so 1996, you cannot select uh, additional units when holding down a shift, which is of course understandable. Of course, the, the first goal is to produce as many cows as possible. And for that, I'll save the game. Uh, empty one? No, I want one. Just one. Now, I can increase the game speed. Yeah, this will be a lot better. Um, if you are playing it on a DOS box and you just cannot be bothered waiting for that, of course, DOS box has its turbo mode. If you hold down Control and Alt and then F12, it goes into uh, let's produce a cow and it goes into mind your ears mode. Yep, just like that. The turbo starts to be really audible. And now I have the meter full. The cow, what's very interesting about this game, the cows stop depositing their uh, co uh, collectives and until you, until you spend the milk. But what I wanted to show is that, first of all, the barracks, they can produce the bowmen, they can produce the, uh, the workers. But uh, I think this is the main hold can produce other buildings and roads. Uh, we can produce, we can see an axe here, so the, the barracks and more uh, milking places. Uh, and also roads. Why roads, you may ask? Because uh, building uh, a hut of, uh, of lumberjacks and hunters. I don't want that. What's, what's a border? That's tables, right? No, no, it's not tables. It is cow shed. Of course it's cow shed. And you can only build buildings next to a road. I think it was similar in, in Warcraft 2, is it? Maybe in Warcraft 1. And you place a building and it's not building. Because you need to, of course, send your worker to work on it. Can I see him hold the You can! Very awesome! Build! The more you send, the quicker it goes. And of course... And then we, we heard end of build, uh, end of work. No, you don't. Die. Go, Mirko. Slay them. Cut them out. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you cannot don't. die, by the way. Very cool. This little, little ambush was for us to, to, to fall into and accidentally game over this mission. No, I do not want to... I don't need to highlight um, highlight cow. Ah, <laughs> simple, simple bowman. Mirko, run away. I need more cows. I don't really need that many. Oh wow! A small a small group of them. Maybe not so small. I don't mind dying with any of the soldiers because I have so many cows already. That um, it allows for a very, very quick gather of of milk. Yeah, like some more. Yep, there's more. Very good. The meter is almost full, and once again, you don't need to rush uh, to um, to make sure that you will use it all. Cow, can you go here? I don't think I can remove the. It's not even concrete light. Hard mud, whatever. One and just can produce two more cows. One more. And while I'm exploring with th this joy joyful bunch, the milk will restock. 
And this is what they meant that uh, that I think it, it was in the wiki. Uh, ba -boom. Military units are expensive to produce, and battles often involve only a few units on each side. Yeah, because they they are indeed expensive. And 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 you have limitations on how many you can actually train. One, two, three, four. You've got five buildings. So I'll produce this guy, and he'll build a barracks right here, here-ish. But. How much? How expensive is road? Oh wow! It's not even showing us why. Interesting. The road is not expensive at all. Let's go in. Oh, I see you. I've got two rangers on my side. Yeah, he went full idle. Uh, map. Can I quickly navigate on the map? Yes, I can. Awesome. So, build me an additional barracks here. I would, I could build them up here, but that would be very dangerous. Uh, thinking that the enemy could uh, could be just around uh, this uh, unexplored area. So first, I want to build more barracks, and then some units. Yeah, single unit takes forever to build. Um, then a few units, and then I can go ahead and explore smaller, like here. I've got what five units? Two that are dead. I'll get a message once the building is over. I shoot. Game. I did not get a message. Okay, it's fine. One, two archers and four uh, uh, of the workers. It's fine. What's up? And it does seem that the less units on screen, the, the quicker the game goes, because I, uh, idle animations, I guess. Yeah, I can tell by the, even the pointer on how fast it's blinking. So, two armies. I, I, actually, I don't, I don't know what, what causes it to go faster or slower. Not that it matters. It's a DOS game. I could turn up the cycles, or I can turn into turbo mode for even quicker thingies. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Eh. One and two. Very good. Now, just guys, go to work. Oh, fire camp. What's that? Looks like some sort of an offering shrine. Once again, I don't know this game. I know probably as much as um, as this level. Anything beyond that is strictly. I've got no clue what's going on. I don't think I want the archers at the front, do I? Because I can still. Pro Ooh, I can produce many of you, many units here. And then, of course, few buildings. But first, yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's take the northern path first, because I do know where the other path leads to. Or I had five. There's a fifth one. There's nothing here. We can go back. An archer, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna speed it up. So mind your ears. One archer and one more. There we go. No, I do not need a cow, thank you. And this lovely bunch will go to to the north. Not the options. Thank you, game. I'm good. It's 
So yeah, I think this is the, the first and only game that I know that uh, has the currency of, of milk. Producing everything with, with just milk. That's magic. Of course, it's a fantasy world, but still. Yeah, I see the two yellow dots on the map and that's those two, two flames. So interesting. Uh, the enemies should be right here. I just hope that there's a passage from here, otherwise uh, I'll send them to go to the other place, uh, around the way. Oh! Oh! Okay, you guys can go while you will start pillaging and looting and looking for reve revenge. Kill! <laughs> oh, my archer! My dude going down. I could I could take Mirko and deal with, with all of them, but I, yeah, I should be good. I'm not good. Yeah, they targeted the top guy. I'm I'm dead. Well, this group is dead. And I think no units here. No units here. Interesting. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Yeah, oh. Oh! Huh? How did he manage to do that? Yeah, um, the AI doesn't seem to be working all that well. But. Once again, but the new army has arrived, and I can go and slay them, whoever remains in this neighboring village. Can I not destroy those? I think... Oh, only those guys can, can destroy, of course, because what good would bow and arrow do against a uh, barricade? Come on, destroy that. They do have some additional attacks, but those are actually... I am not paying that much attention to what they are and how to actually tr translate them. Fight him! W with the axe! What's, what's Navuria? Navuria. Uh... No, that's definitely not it. Sometimes the Google Translate is not that helpful. What are you doing? Building has been destroyed. Uh, so the fire is hurting me. That's also a very nice touch. So the game wanted me first to finish off the... Um, the, the, the... Actually, this, this is kind of good. I want to die with at least one guy. Interesting. Perhaps I could produce just the archers. To shoot down all enemies. Before they can reach me. Of course, enemy archers would be a threat. But I know that at least one of my units ha has died. And I can uh, replace him. Very cool. Destroy! And once again, I don't need to destroy this uh, any of those buildings. My objective is to... Well, the objective said to, after the fight is over, build up to seven houses. But I think uh, the um, it means after... After... Um... Uh, what's the word here I'm looking for? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so one more and I'm done. Uh, the fight in, in the town. I I do not, did not need to fight those guys. Do you guys mind? I'm burning and looting your village. Desecrating the bodies of the dead. Five archers, very cool. Show me how well you work. 
Okay-ish. It seems that they deal no damage against the buildings. Interesting. Of course, it does make sense. Oh, 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 they dealt some damage. Hit again. I'll speed this up. Yet yeah, they can hardly deal some minimal damage to a building. So you guys can explore. One, two, three, four hits with uh, just five archers. So it would be two hits with uh, ten archers and maybe just one hit with a single archer. Could you please destroy that? And guys, go explore. Okay, the, the enemy does not have their own Mirko. Maybe it also depends on the building. It seems that this one is already damaged. Eh, turbo. Because that's all there, there is left to this stage. Wow, no damage. Okay, it seems that having a mix of... Having a mix of attacks actually deal, seems to potentially deal more damage. Oh wait. Okay. Why are you actually? Does it matter where, where I click? It does matter where I click. That's a new one. Very cool. That's why some of them could not reach the place that I was asking them to destroy. Yep. Everything has been obliterated in this stage. Maybe except this part. But I don't think there's anything worth checking there. You guys can go here. And this might be the only sta stage that I will do, like a completionist, so everything will be slain, everything will be uh, explored. I don't really want to go that, that deep into the, uh, every stage. <sighs> Oh! The spirits of your ancestors will... Uh, will be at rest. The revenge has been partially done. Um, some more I, some more I, I still need to... You still need to translate. Your heart has been uh, has been filled with blissful, blissful, blissful. Has been blissfully fulfilled. Your eyes. Your eyes satisfied with the uh, sight of enemies dying. And in your ears, you could still hear the. Uh, um, the groans of the dying. Shouldn't the mu such mu music um, be heard uh, forever? Don't stop. Go with the swords. With the swords. Shine. I guess. Sometimes it's hard to translate. It's, it's not the exact words. It's a bit more to that. Select next journey. So one, two, three, four, five. I've conquered this. And this is a probably at that time map of the Poland. We've got the sea, we've got the mountain range, range which is pretty cool by the way. Yeah, um going from the left. We're attacking the villains. The eternal forest is surrounding your grounds from each side.
number substitutes. Did she uh... Oh no. Partial replacements of the coniferous sentinels were protecting you from 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 attacks since forever. But now all has changed. Um, impenetrable forests. Forest, forest. Backwoods are now your um, your obstacles on your journey. Let the holy flames clear the uh, the road on which you will go to your your warriors will travel. Let the axes do the works. He opened the passage to to destiny. Your enemy is not suspecting anything. Confident in the power of his spellcasters. And obsessed with promises from uh, from Germans. I have no idea what's the objective here, but I will leave that for later. Uh, can I save the game? And it will be one. 1 E and I will call the video here. I will Guys, what are you fighting with? I can't see anything. Game. Somehow I cannot Oh, there we go. Did I change something in the options? No, the scrolling speed is still as it was. Interesting. Yeah, so we don't we don't have Mirko here, so I don't really know what what I will do. But um, if I will continue the series, I wanted to show off this uh, pretty cool gem, uh, the history of uh, of, uh, of Polish games such as this uh, awesome RTS, and I really hope to to continue uh, playing it. But will I do so? Only time will tell. Ho hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, see you in the next one. Take care.